Hello everybody, this is Emery from the Brian Coyle Best Buy Teen Tech Center and I'm here with another video. So the last video we did was on how to use GIMP which is a free to use alternative to Photoshop that's pretty cool but the issue with that software is that you have to download it and you have to be able to install it on your computer so if you have something like a Chromebook you can't really use it so I said I was going to cover another software that was a web based application that you could use to do the same thing and that's what I'm doing today so the app we're going to be using today is called PhotoP and it's just PhotoP.com uh, and uh, somebody I met through the Clubhouse Network actually told me about this app uh, and I was very excited to hear about it so when you get to the page you just hit new project and it can open Photoshop files which is very cool so I'm just going to uh, just like the last video I'm just gonna make the thumbnail for this video uh, in photo P so I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080 just because that is the standard resolution size for YouTube videos I'm gonna hit create so now we have this blank canvas um, so I want to change the background color so right now it's just white so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that photo bucket tool do to do and it's so it'll base you'll have to click and hold on it and you'll see the gradient tool and then there's the you can change it to the paint bucket tool and I'm gonna go to the color selector here and I'm gonna change it to a yellow because that's the color I've been using in all of them and then since I have the paint bucket tool selected I just click on the background and now it's yellow now I'm gonna add some text so the T is the text tool just like in GIMP or Photoshop and I'll click to add it so right now uh, it's kinda small so I'm gonna change the font size to be I remember I think uh, 800 was a good one uh, no that's wrong let me try 400 okay and then I'll say how to use okay that's still too big so I'm gonna click and select it all and let's make it 300 mmm what about 200 okay I'm gonna say 250 that's pretty good so now uh, if I want to move it I'll just click on the move tool and I can move it where I want and the cool part is if you just want to rotate or anything like that all you have to do is hit the transform controls button and now you can rotate it you can change it how you want so now I want to change the font so I'll hit T and T allows you to go T is just the hotkey so if you click on T on your keyboard it'll change it back to the text tool automatically and I'm gonna change the font so right now it's on deja vu sans uh, but I want something that's a little bolder they don't necessarily have all of the same fonts that they do in something like GIMP or in Photoshop so I looked at I looked into the impact fonts on here and they don't have the right kind of impact font that I want but I'm gonna try to find something that's kinda similar so I'm going to change the font to one I like better so I'm gonna change it to this one called alpha slab one and that's a little more blocky just like the ones in my previous videos um, and now I'm going to go back to the move tool right there and do the transform controls and that's rotated a little more Let's move it here and now let's make a new text box so let's go back to the text tool and I'm gonna say photo P and I'm gonna select it all here and I'm gonna make it a little larger so let's make it 260 mm, 275 there we go so now I'll go back to the move tool and I'm gonna transform it to be a little like that and I also have a graphic that I want to put in so earlier I got the uh, photo for the I got the PNG image of the earlier I was able to get the PNG image of the photo P logo so I'm going to go to my external hard drive Adobe folder and let's go into photo P video and there we go so I should just be able to drag it in and there you can see I have the photo P logo and I can scale it how I want 
and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit let's rotate it the other direction I'll make it look more dynamic and I'm gonna move it down and then when it's done you just hit enter and now you have the logo in there do do, -do. Now I'll go back to the photo P layer and I'll move it there. So just like in Photoshop or GIMP, the image, the photo, the canvas that you're working on is split into different layers. So you can see I, when I select the how to use layer right there, uh, it selects the how to use and anything I do will change that. Same with the photo P layer, same with the thumbnail right there. So now that it's there, I'm going to make it a little larger. And just like in the other ones, you also have stuff like the brush tool. So I'm going to change the color and I'm going to say, let's make it red again. And I'm going to rasterize it. And now you can draw wherever, but then if I move the layer down, it'll go behind those sort of things. So I'm gonna undo that and let's do layer new layer. And now on that layer, just like in the GIMP video, I'll draw something. So let's draw like a star and then I'll use that paint bucket tool to fill it in. And now see it's above everything else. If I move the layer to be let's say just below photo P where I can have it be just below how to use you can make it up in the background now now let's delete that layer um, just like in GIMP you have the paint bucket tool so if I select the how to use layer and I have the paint bucket tool selected on red I can click on the H and let's say okay it has to be rasterized so you can't edit it until you rasterize it but all you have to do is right click on it and hit rasterize and now I can click on the H and I can fill it in with whatever color I want. Same with the logo. I can just select the logo layer and then or the thumbnail layer and then I'll click on it and it changes it to that color. Background is the same deal. So as you can see it's very similar to something like GIMP or Photoshop. It's just in your browser. It's a really cool tool. Um, so if you want to export it, now that I'm done with this uh, thumbnail, mm, hold up, I'm just going to move this back real quick. So I'm going to move it a little down just so it doesn't clip anything off. Um, and then I'll move that there. And now that I'm actually done with it, I'm going to hit file and export as, and let's save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG. 1920 by 1080. I'm going to make it 100% quality, but you can also change it to be whatever. And then I hit save and it will download it. So now if I open up the PNG file, I have the PNG right there and that's going to be the thumbnail for the video. So like I said, very similar to GIMP, very similar to Photoshop. It's just in your browser this time. You can use it from a Chromebook uh, or whatever. Uh, it's a very useful, very cool tool. Anywho, thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Check out our Facebook, check out our Instagram. They're at the end of the video, but they'll also be linked in the bio. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh, this is Emery signing off for the Teen Tech Center.